What's happening everyone, my name is Alex and welcome back to a new review. For today we have a new action camera from ACASO called the V50 Pro. So you can find this action camera for about $120 and for that price we get a camera that can record in real 4K and we also get a whole bunch of accessories including a remote control. Now this remote control works good up to 10 meters away from the camera but the remote control is not waterproof so it's only splash proof. We also get a waterproof case for the camera and supposedly this waterproof case is good to up to 30 meters in the water but as always I haven't been swimming with it but I did have it in water and there was no water going inside. And aside from that of course you are going to find the user manual and the user manual it's in English and it's got a whole bunch of information and aside from that we have two batteries, two 1100 milliamp hour batteries and we even have a charging base for those batteries. So on one charge you can record for about 50 minutes if you are recording in 4K at 30 frames per second or you can record them for about an hour and 20 minutes if you are recording in 1080p at 30 frames per second. Now of course it depends how you keep the screen, if you keep the screen on, if you are using the image stabilization and so on. And since we are talking about image stabilization, this camera supports image stabilization for any resolution. So it doesn't matter if you are recording in 4K or 1080p, you can use the image stabilization. And here is a quick sample of the image stabilization on and of the image stabilization off. And as you've seen the image stabilization is decent but definitely not mind blowing and if you need better stabilization I recommend that you use a 3-axis gimbal. Me for example I was able to use this with the latest um, gimbal from Feiyu called the G6. This is a gimbal made for action cameras and this is a short clip um, that I've recorded using uh, this camera and this gimbal. So you can see that the image stabilization is much better using a gimbal versus the electronic image stabilization. The camera itself is about the same size as a GoPro and it's also made out of this rubberized plastic. Now it's a good thing that it's made out of that rubberized plastic because I did drop the camera twice and I was expecting it to get damaged and worse but I only got a couple of scratches here and there. So it still works after I dropped it a couple of times. I don't recommend that you drop it but if you drop it this rubberized plastic will definitely help. So on the front we have the brand name and the lens and at the top we have two buttons and these are the only buttons available. We also have some holes for the microphone and some LEDs that will show you whenever the Wi-Fi is on or off. And since we are talking about the microphone we might as well check out some um, samples so you can see how the microphone recording sound from this camera. This is a quick microphone test to the ACASO V50 Pro. I'm currently recording in 4K at 30 frames per second and um, as you can probably see I am outside. The image stabilization is also on and it is a bit windy but not much. So this is how the microphone sounds under these conditions. Another quick microphone test um, with the ACASO V50 Pro. So this time around I'm um, recording in 4K at 30 frames per second. The image stabilization is also on and I'm talking behind the camera. As you can see I am outside but um, it's not that windy so you should only be able to hear my voice. And as you've seen and heard for yourself the microphone um, recording sound quite good. Alright so moving to the left hand side of the camera there we have the HDMI out. We also have a mini USB charging port and of course the slot for the SD card. So I got to try two SD cards with this um, action camera. Both SD cards are class 10 SD cards and they're also 64 gig um, SD cards. And I'm gonna leave a link in the video's description just in case you don't know what um, SD cards to get for your camera. Unfortunately that mini USB port doesn't support external microphones but the camera can be charged while it's charging and that's great mostly if you're into doing time lapses because of course those take um, quite um, a while. This camera can also do time lapses with the press of a button and this is a quick example of a time lapse that I've done with this camera. And moving to the right hand side of the camera there we have the holes for the speaker and at the bottom we have a little plastic door that covers the 1100 milliamp hour battery and we also have a screw hole so you can mount this camera on a tripod. And moving to the back of the camera there we have a 2 inch touch screen that uh, looks better than most action cameras that I've tried. The viewing angles are great and the screen gets bright enough so you can use uh, the camera outside. Now the touch sensitivity isn't as good as you'd find on a smartphone but it's good enough for an action camera. 
Another important feature for this action camera is the Wi-Fi connectivity. So the camera can make a Wi-Fi network and you can connect to that Wi-Fi network with your smartphone or tablet and you can control um, the camera right from your smartphone or tablet. To do that, you're gonna have to download an app on um, your device and the app it's called iSmart Pro Plus and it's available um, in the Google Play Store or the iOS Store. Once you have that installed and you're connected to the camera, you can see everything that the camera sees right on your smartphone or tablet. You can also change settings for the camera right from um, your device and you can also see what other recordings you have saved on the camera. This works good up to 10 meters away from the camera. And next we are moving on to one of the most important things for any action camera and that of course is the video quality. So first we are going to check out some video recordings that I've done during the day and all the recordings are done in 4K 30 frames per second with the EMI stabilization on. And as you've seen for yourself, the daytime recordings look quite good. Maybe not as good as the recordings that we get from the E4K+, Plus, but definitely good enough for the price of the camera. And next we're gonna check out some recordings that I've done at night time. And once again, all the recordings are done in 4K, 30 frames per second, the uh, image stabilization on. And as you've seen for yourself, the nighttime recordings don't look that great, but I was kind of expecting that because I've seen other cameras in the past um, using the iCatch V50 processor and the image quality wasn't that great um, in low light. Now, luckily you can take pictures um, with this camera as well and the picture quality is much better than the video quality, mostly in low light. So the pictures are very sharp and very detailed. So overall, very good pictures for an action camera. Using the camera, it's very simple. So you have the two buttons at the top. One of them is the power button, the one with the red, and the other one is like the OK or the recording button, but we also have the touch screen. We have a general settings menu, and from there you can change the screen's brightness, you can change the volume for the microphone, you can also turn on or off the driving mode, you can change the languages, and there are a whole bunch of languages available, and you can even choose if you wanna use this camera for your computer, so technically you can do that. Now, me personally, I haven't tried it, but um, according to the menu, you can um, do that. And in there, you can also format the SD card. And aside from that, of course, we have a video and picture settings menu. So if you go into the video, the settings menu there um, you can change the video resolution and um, as I said before you can record in 4k at 30 frames per second 2.7k or uh, 30 frames per second 1080p at 60 frames per second and so on you can turn on or off um, the image stabilization you can um, turn on um, or off the wind um, noise reduction and so on and it's time to conclude this video. So overall, this camera offers pretty good value, but um, if you haven't noticed already, this is basically a rebrand of the MG Cool Explorer 3. But um, this offers more value because we get that remote control, we get the second uh, battery, something that we didn't get um, with the original MG Cool Explorer. And um, I believe that camera was about $110, and with this one, you spend about $120 and you get um, a bit more. This camera has great video quality as long as you record um, during the day. If you record at night, this is not the best um, camera for you and um, you should look for something else if you are um, planning to record at night. But other than that, getting um, image stabilization for 4K recordings is pretty cool. Alright guys, um, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did like it, press that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.